science, but again, I'm, I'm trying to get a sense of what you actually believe. In the Senate's first public hearing since stay-at-home orders went into effect, senators on Tuesday grilled President Donald Trump's nominee to lead U.S. intelligence, Congressman John Ratcliffe. At issue, whether Ratcliffe, who was a strong supporter of Trump during impeachment hearings last year, Why do we go from quid pro quo to extortion, now to bribery? would act independently of the president. Democratic Senator Martin Heinrich asked Ratcliffe about his previous conversations with Trump. And did the word loyalty ever come up? My loyalty is to the Constitution and the rule of law, and I have made that very clear to everyone, including the president. Um, so so you did discuss loyalty? Our, no. Trump first nominated Ratcliffe to be director of national intelligence last summer. But the nomination was dropped amid questions about his lack of experience and partisan reputation. On Tuesday, Ratcliffe pledged to act independently. But I held an apolitical job before as U.S. attorney, one where um, I represented the United States and neither party. I have every, um, not just every intention, but every confidence uh, that I will do exactly as I'm telling you, uh, that I will um, be entirely apolitical as the director of national intelligence. But the Intelligence Committee's top Democrat, Senator Mark Warner, said he still has concerns. I have to say that while I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt during this hearing, I don't see what has changed since last summer when the president decided not to proceed with your nomination over concerns about your inexperience, partisanship, and past statements that seem to embellish your record. I still have some of the same doubts now as I had back in August. If confirmed as DNI. The DNI, as the position is known, oversees 17 U.S. intelligence agencies. Ratcliffe repeatedly defended the work of the community he may soon lead. Since Trump and aides have sharply criticized intelligence agencies, accusing them of working for a, quote, deep state, seeking to undermine his presidency. I don't think that the men and women of the intelligence community are running amok. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ratcliffe did not wear a mask during the proceedings, but some staff and senators did, while sitting a socially distant six feet from each other.